and so my favorite company to hang out with on these islands full of Gentoo penguins. One day we, had, we saw some Adelie penguins, mainly Gentoo were the biggest gang in town. Uh, I would hang out with Bob, the geologist, this ultra alpha male who spoke in confrontationalist Hemingway-esque clipped sentences with no light in the darkness of global climate change. His lectures were intense. Sit down. Now. <laughs> the world's coming to an end. Whose fault is that? Yours. Slide one. <laughs> Catamatic winds forcing the ice underwater. It melts. And where's all that water going to go? Right into your face. You're going to die underwater. <laughs> the world is coming to an end. Slide two, because I don't know you're killing the world. See that ice cube? That was an iceberg three years ago. Slide three. By slide five, you hear people weeping in the audience. By slide ten, people are passing a katana blade to each other. Like, your turn. <laughs> Here you go. And by the end of the lecture, I'll be here all afternoon if any of you have a question. If you've got the guts. You hear, for the God! And people run out of the place, except for me, with my steno pad. Bob? I have 80 questions on the expansion of seas and the bottom goal that Fox News personality says uh, illustrative of the world getting colder, but scientists like you say it's illustrative of, and demonstrative of the world getting warmer. Please explain. Sit down. And we talk every single day. To this day, Bob is still sending me the most depressing articles of all the <laughs> Henry, read this now. I did and had to move from my mother's attic for a year and a half. I mean, and one day, she's so serious, he's just like me. We're standing watching a Gen 2 penguin stare at us. We're standing at the penguin, the penguin's staring at us. I said, Bob, what's the most visible change, uh, global climate change uh, marker that I'm going to see in my life? He said, catastrophic rise in sea level. I said, like what? Five feet, 10 feet? 20 feet, 30 feet. I won't come on, Bob. He said, See if I'm wrong. I said, so really? What, where do you think all this water is going to go? You think it just hangs out after it melts? It moves. Of course it moves. So he said, coastlines are going to go away. So I said, like what? New Orleans gets flakes? No. You don't get it, Henry. New Orleans goes away. I go, that bad? He goes, in your lifetime? Yeah. I go, so what am I not getting about global climate change? Like, what you're not getting is you're getting your information from like CNN and MSNBC, and by the time our reports get to those pundits, they've been made into a kind of a, a happy, huggable thing. Like, global climate change is getting warmer, isn't that nice? It's catastrophic what is happening, and that's why you're on this trip to learn this stuff, right? I said, yeah, so there's no good news. You went, no. He said, like, everything you see, it's going to be gone. So I said, let's look at a state. Florida, water on both sides. Is it possible that we could get so much uh, catastrophic rise in sea level that Florida could be turned into a white trash Atlantis? And I'm looking at him, like, <laughs> and he's serious too, so he's, like, he's looking for me to laugh. I'm like, nope. And I finally went, you're kidding, right? I said, a little. He's like, you want those people to die? They won't die. They have gills. 